Hi guys, welcome back. The next balloon in our series of bracelets is our swan. And she looks like this. She's a 260 base. This is white, it's all a 160 white. And then a little scrap of orange and eyeball stickers. Here we go. Here we go. So we're going to start with the base. Two ear twists. About two to three inches across. Two more ear twists. And then back up. So this is where we're at. Take the end of this balloon, tie it over the other side. And here's our simple base. Now we get to add the swan on. You start with this, all you need is just a little piece of a, an orange 160. I have scraps laying everywhere, so I love using scraps, they're fun. So we're just going to make his little beaker here, so we're gonna use a, a bigger bubble and a smaller bubble, just to make it look, I think it's a little bit curved in. Bigger bubble, that's about an inch. Smaller bubble, maybe half an inch. Twist those together. Lock that balloon in. Okay, and leave that attached for now. Then we're going to take our white 160 and we're going to um, make two small ear twists here. This is where we're going to attach our, um, our nozzle, our, our peak buttons in. Buttons, bubbles, you know what I meant. So we're going to marry this with this. Okay. So we've got our, our nozzle, our nozzle, our nose, uh, beak part, and then we've got the two ear twists here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. We don't need any more of this balloon. Okay, and straighten it out. Okay. Then we're going to go back for his head. Uh, about two inches. Ear twist. Add another ear twist. And then do a third ear twist, but do the third one a little bit bigger. And you can even make it a gold twist, whatever you're happy with. Okay, so we've got our three. I put the bigger one in the center. Then we're going to take our 160 back to the front and then back to the back again. So here's our head. I'm going to curve this in a little bit. We're just going to bend it, give it a little squeeze, and then decide where we want the base of it to be. Yeah, five inches or so, twisting off, do an ear twist. And then we're going to take that ear twist and we're going to add it into one of the sides of this base. We're going to take this, we're just going to pull it down here, down the center for his body. We're just going to twist it into the back of the back side of the bracelet. Now all we're going to do is I'm going to squeeze this air out, make it nice and soft, until you get just enough to grab onto on the end. I'm going to take that and I tie it in back here so it looks like he has a giant tail, but we're not done with this. So take this end and wrap it around into the rear side of the bracelet. Okay, find the center of that. Grab that, twist it, split it in half. And then we're gonna pull this down to the front and it's actually gonna make its wings. Let's 
So here's wings. We can shape them. Just pull back on them. Pull back on these. So then all we have to do here is add some artwork. Now you can either draw on the eyes here or you can use um, stickers, which is what I'm going to use. I get these from T. Myers. I'm sure other places carry them too. This just happens to be what... I get these at Twist and Shout. I stock up every time I go. So we've got duck bracelet one, or swan, swan bracelet two. I guess you can make these ducks too if you uh, make them yellow. All right, thanks for stopping by. See you guys later.